Hello and welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can import a table from an Access database into a Power BI report. So you can see I have a table called TBL underscore employee. I'm going to open it up and it has last name, first name, city, state, position, and hire date. And what I would like to do is import this data into a Power BI report. So let me close this. Move this around. I have to have Access Database close first. So I'm close that. All right, so I'm in the Power BI blank report. And the first thing I want to do is go to this Get Data button. I'm going to go select More. Access Database. Hit connect. I'm going to go to this database here. Here we go. So select the TBL underscore employee table, and I'm going to press the transform data button, and it's going to take us to Power Query. So this is Power Query that's inside of Power BI. And what Power Query allows you to do is it allows you to transform your data. So if you have data that you need to clean up, or add columns or, or so forth. You can do that all in Power Query. So I'll maximize this. This is our table. First thing I want to do is rename this table. I'm just going to call it employee. All right, you can see here we have our six columns. Let's look at the data type. So ABC is a text data type. So that's correct for last name, first name, city, state, and position. We have a higher date, date uh, text column. Uh, we just want the, the date and not the time. So what you do is you select the column, go to transform, and I'm going to go to select the date. So it's just going to have the date, not the time. All right. So what I want to do is this is basically our transaction table. And what I want to do is break this out. So I'll have uh, lookup tables and a transaction table. So our lookup tables would be, for instance, this position column. We want a column or a table that has just the positions. So to do that, I'm going to right click the employee query. I'm going to go to reference. I'm going to rename this query, call it position. I'm going to go to the home tab and right here it says choose columns. I'm going to select choose columns. And I'm going to unselect everything and just select the position column. And that will just have our positions. Now you see we have these duplicates here. So what I'm going to do is right click and select remove duplicates. So now we have unique positions in our position query. All right. So go back to employee. Let's uh, do the same thing with city and state. Right click the employee query. 
go to reference. Let's call this query location. All right, go back to choose columns. Just going to select the city and the state and remove the other columns. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to combine these two columns into one column. So what I want to do is go to add column. I'm going to choose this option that says column from examples. I'm going to select both of these. All right. So the way this works is I'm going to call this column location. And what this does is it detects uh, a pattern of the data that's within your columns. So I'm going to type in Columbia for the first record, comma, SC. And it should pick up the rest. And see, it does. It autofills the rest. So I'm going to hit OK. And now it creates that column called location. Let's go back to employee. What else can we do? OK, uh, that's all we can do for now in Power Query. So oh, one other thing I, I want to do is I'm going to select all these queries, right click, go to where it says Move to Group, select New Group. I'm going to call this group Data Model. Hit OK. It's just going to put those queries in a group called data model. All right. Now we're ready to close and apply. I'm going to go to the model view. So Power BI auto detects some of the relationships already. So this employee table is our transaction table. Some people like to refer to it as a fact table. All right. And these are our lookup tables. So we have position and we have location. So position is a one to many relationship between the position table and the position in the position table and the employee table and the position table and the position table. One to many. That's what we want. So in here we have location. Let's see what the relationship is. Uh, city and city. And that's what we want. Okay. So we're all done here. We just want to make sure that our relationships are set. Let's go to the report view. Now, uh, what I want to do, first of all, is I'm going to go to Format, Page Background. Let's change this background color to something darker, like a purple. All right. Let's go to the Data view. So we, this is our employee table. Um, so what I want to do is create. So I want to calculate how many days each employee has spent in the company. So to do that, I'm gonna go here to new column. And say number of days. And the formula is I'm using the today, today function. And I'm subtracting the, the higher date to get the number of days. So I'm going to hit this check mark. 
and that gives us this crazy format where we can change the format right here to data type change it to whole number hit OK so that's the number of days each employee has been hired all right now if I want to convert the days to years by going to new column again. Number of years is equal to, let me make this bigger so you can see. Number of years is equal to number of days divided by 365.25. Let me show you the number of days formula. Okay. So again, it created our calculation, but we want to convert this to a whole number. So let's go to, it's like this column, column tools, whole number. So now we have number of years. All right. So let's go back to our report view. So we can start adding visuals. Um, I'm going to go select this table here, table visual. Let's make it bigger. I'm going to choose an employee table, the last name, first name, um, position, city, state, number of years. All right, looks good. This total, we can remove that. To do that, we we'll go to the little paintbrush or, or paint roller. It's called the format. And go to down the to total and turn that off. So that's, that's off now. And you can style this table if you want. I can go to uh, the style. Um, there's some default styles here. Let's see what this one looks like. Condense. Uh, we'll leave it at on condensed. All right, let's move this down here. Uh, now what I want to do is have a slicer for our position. So here's our slicer visual. Make it a little smaller and select in the position table, select position. So there's our positions. So you can choose one and it will filter our table. So these are our data analysts, business analysts, data scientists. All right, now let's add a map. So here we are, map. So map visual, and I'm going to go to our location table and select the city, put it in the location field well. So we have our map. The United States. So we want to look at our data analysts. It says we have three. You see on our map, one's located in Texas, one is in Missouri. I don't know why it looks like it's Oregon, but it says it's supposed to be Nebraska. It's weird. Okay. So, 
That one's right. Nashville, Tennessee, and Little Rock, Arkansas. All right, so now what I want to do, I'll unfilter everything. What I want to do now is I want to, I want to use some conditional formatting because I want to highlight all the employees that have been with the company for five years or greater. So to do that, I'm going to select the table. I'm going to go to the number of years column, select the drop down, go to conditional formatting, choose background color. Um, I'm going to change this format by to rules. All right, so it says if the value is greater than or equal to, what do we say? Five, number, uh, less than, I just usually uh, will put like something crazy like that. And let's say we want to highlight it. Let's give it a light blue color. Hit OK. So now all the employees that have been hired, that are hired uh, five years or greater, are highlighted in this light blue color. So this is just an introductory to get you to use Power BI. If you enjoyed the content of this video,